Hello Geocachers, it's Symbol here and we're doing a, a check on my uh, caches ready for the spring summer see if they're okay, we've had lots of snow and ice and see if they're okay drying everything like that see if they're still in place and um, I'll just show you that in a minute, it's only just down there a couple of few uh, metres but just to share on the way, if you're going to hide some yourself I just came on these two, didn't spot them last time because this is the area I needed to do it, but look, you could have put um, a cache in there, look. I like that. See, you can put a cache in here. And then what you do is, you can have a thing, poke it out, and look, it comes out the other side and drops into your hand like that. Or you could put a false uh, bolt in there. So I think that's really clever. But I didn't, I put it down here, which I think is actually better really because it's really dramatic in the summer you have this tree <laughs> it's called big old red tree because I didn't know what it was but it was massive see how big that is it probably doesn't um, uh, can you see how big it doesn't really show up how big it is that's huge that is a huge tree with big big canopy of like red leaves and uh, some of the comments said oh because of the winter um all the leaves fell off but they got the gps so I said oh, i can't find any red uh anything that's red but uh there's a bit of like red leaves there i don't know if that's some of the leaves that have lasted yes actually i don't know if that's some of the leaves that lasted through the but it's even redder than that the whole tree but here we go Let's go in. I made the thing about this. I was going to put a big uh, canister, big uh, cache, or but um, I decided I put the littlest, tiniest cache here, make it more difficult to find. Could have put it in some of these uh, crevices, the larger one. And I th thought, no, it's if people looks like a lot of people come round here, probably kids come and climb this tree and they would have found it, so I thought I still want to have it somewhere around this lovely uh, uh, tree, I'm going to find out. I think somebody did comment, I said uh, big red, red oak tree ID please, so I wanted it ID identified, I think somebody did identify it, so I'll uh, check on that and put it in the comments if I um, can find out. And really it's just that, and the clue is tiny micro so how do you find that I, I'm actually in the area now but imagine if you come in here and you've got to look around here and you've got to look for a tiny mi micro but I'll put it around this end for a good reason the footpaths over there so muggles could be walking past but you can be you could be here hidden and spend a lot of time looking so I thought that'd be a better idea. See, either side you can look out for muggers or hear them come in with their doggles, even barking, and you can just hide round here, look. You think that's clever? Because a lot of the caches I think, oh, I can't find, there's so many people walking past me and I just want to uh, find the cache. And so I've given, given them a nice quiet place to look for. And actually, I think it was, I think I did up here in one of that crack there but I think somebody's actually moved it and then I found it again and now I found it yet again okay this would be a good one for you can you see it it's in it's there somewhere can you see it's actually in full sight that's how good uh, it's a little micro camo I'll zoom in it's clever actually and uh, why I left it where it is I thought it was even better with my my little camo in there and nobody's uh, muggled it for a couple of years so it must be a good place and uh, it's it's sometimes I make uh, ones nice and easy that easy if if there's lots of muggles around, I make it easy so they can go straight to it and they're, and they're not muggled. This it, 
I've put it here. So if it's more difficult to find, they need to be hidden while they're looking for it. So the muggles can walk past and uh, they can be fiddling, trying to find this uh, difficult one. So the difficult ones um, uh, I can make more difficult. The more difficult ones I can give, uh, you know, the Jewish cactus have got more time to actually find it. I'm zooming in now. I think you can see it now. It's actually a camoed micro tube and it's uh, wedged in really well. There you are, look, can you see it now? Oh, it's switching so well, I can't get it out. I don't think they pushed it in another way from the top. I think it's, uh, anyway, I don't want to break anything because that's good at hiding place. There you are, look. It's actually, I think they pushed it in from the top. So I can't even get it out. Anyway, it's got the top on. It's a small, small micro and I've used some uh, uh, camo tape. You can get that online if you want to do a bit of... Um, geocache hiding and I'll push that back there and really isn't that good good camo camouflage little micro made it really difficult and when you come away it's in full sight but you can't see it I love that anyway I hope you enjoyed that that was the big red oak tree cache by symbol so I hope you enjoyed that happy geocaching everyone Subscribe, like, comment below and uh, I'll answer any questions and I'll always try and comment back. There you go. With the moss, love the moss. Brilliant. I nearly didn't find that myself actually when I came back because I came in and I thought so it'd be muggled. And luckily I looked a bit longer and I nearly didn't spot it, nearly um, had to replace it. Anyway, bye for now.